a 505 turn circular loop so the number of turns n is equal to 505 turns with a coil of a diameter of 15.5 centimeters so the diameter is 15.5 centimeters we convert it to meters it becomes 0 0.155 meters from the diameter we can find the radius which is half of the diameter so 0 0.155 over 2 and it gives 0 0.0775 meters since it is a circular loop from the radius we can find the area which is pi r squared so the area is pi into 0 0.0775 squared the answer for the area will be 0 0.019 squared meters we continue reading Initially aligned so that its plane is perpendicular to the Earth's magnetic field. So if this the, if this is the circular coil and the magnetic field is perpendicular to it. So this is the direction of the magnetic field. The normal is also perpendicular to the surface. So they are parallel. Then the angle between the magnetic field and the normal is 0 degrees. In 2.77 milliseconds, the time delta T is 2.77 milliseconds. We convert it to seconds, then delta T will be equal to 2.77 times 10 to the power of negative 3 seconds. The coil is rotated 90 degrees. Oh, so we have a change in the angle. First, the coil and the magnetic field were perpendicular now we will draw it how it became so this was the initial condition then it the magnetic field is still there it does not change its direction but the coil now is like this it's rotated 90 degrees and the normal to the coil will be going in this direction so the angle between the magnetic field and the normal will be 90. So this was theta initial. Theta initial is the angle initially between the magnetic field and the normal line. And the after the rotation, we'll have theta final is equal to 90 degrees. So that its plane is parallel to the Earth's magnetic field. As we see, B and the coil are parallel, but B and the normal are perpendicular. If an average electromotive force, the induced electromotive force, is 0 0.166 volts, what is the value of the Earth's magnetic field? So we have to find B. We will use the formula for electromagnetic induction EMF induced is equal to minus N delta flux by delta T so EMF induced is equal to minus N we replace the magnetic flux by its formula delta of B A cosine theta over delta t so e m f induced is equal to minus n we take the constant factors out which are b and a in this case and we still have delta cosine theta by delta t now i will rewrite the formula e m f induced is equal to minus n a b 
delta cosine theta is cosine of theta final minus cosine of theta initial. It is not cosine theta final minus theta initial. It's cosine theta final minus cosine theta initial over delta t. Now we replace the induced electromotive force is given as 0.166 volts is equal to minus we have 505 turns the area is we found it as 0.019 squared meters the magnetic field strength is given is an unknown B now cosine theta final which is 90 minus cosine theta initial which is 0 over delta t which is given as 0.016 